Hi, I'm Milton Rendell and welcome to Real News Friday, bringing it to you today from the top of the Catalyst Building on Junction Parade in Midland. As you can see to the background, the sweeping view of Midland and the Swan Valley, which is pretty cool. And uh, we're hoping to do a city shot, but some crazy truck drivers decided to make a lot of noise on that side of the building, so we buggered. So we'll just take the Swan Valley for today and we'll show the city another time. Um, in terms of the sales in the last week or so, uh, 947 sales recorded through Real Estate Institute of West Australia. Stock levels are down to 8,283. Now we're getting to that low mark again. Um, remember I said there would be some form of adjustment in terms of after COVID, which we've now seen sales are obviously started to move along. Next stage I would suggest would be listings. Appraisal levels are up. People are making more inquiries about possibly selling, which is uh, obviously we need a little bit more stock just to uh, to uh, match the demand, I suppose. Uh, and the variety of stock is probably an important one. It's uh, there's no sense just having tomatoes in the shops if everyone else wants bananas and apples. So that's sort of where some agents are at the moment. Uh, we do uh, lacking a little bit of variation in stock. Um, interesting statistics came out that. Uh, in the last 12 months, the amount of first home buyers in West Australia was up, uh, sorry, in Australia was up 105%, um, and 48.5% of that were West Australians. So obviously the first home buyers have come back in, in a rush, and also that would be a clear uh, indication of why we're having a shortage of stock. You remember, first home buyers don't have anything to sell, um, so they're not bringing stock to the market where the family who's deciding to relocate or upgrade or downgrade, whatever they'll be, have a product to sell to add one. So it's sort of a plus one, then minus one. But when we uh, sell to first home buyers, obviously they're just taking stock out of the market. It's not a bad thing, but uh, obviously it help, doesn't help those who are looking for property. Uh, in terms of rentals out there in the marketplace, still 2,670 properties on the market. That's down 4% on a week ago, uh, down 5% a month ago, and down 25% to 12 months ago. So the demand for rentals is still there. It's a surprising statistic, keeping in mind that uh, we did have, uh, came out of the COVID, we thought there'd be more adjustments to the rentals and once the moratoriums were released. Um, I still think that's going to evolve slightly uh, between now and December, because I believe that some of the vacancy rates may uh, increase after this time. But again, um, there's no, I couldn't pinpoint it, but just my gut feeling on where we are at the moment, knowing what we see within our own portfolio would indicate that possibly between now and December, we may see a few more vacant properties. But once again, that would be a more an educated guess than a statistic I can just produce um, from anywhere else. Now, in terms of um, the year as a whole so far, uh, we are still seeing that steady momentum throughout. And, and again, the indication of over 900 sales in a, in a week, it means that we are staying steady. The stock is still a concern, but as I said earlier, it appears that more people are having a present. I get the feeling that we will get an introduction of more stock into the future. Now, obviously, it's been the Olympics last, last couple of weeks, so well done to the Olympians. We've done very, very well overseas, and as an Australian, I would like to say to those Olympians, we are very proud of you. Uh, I have no doubt that uh, the families, or the extended families of those athletes will be very proud of their efforts. It would have been pretty hard for them just to watch on the telly. This COVID is turning into a little bit of a curse for all of us. Uh, in terms of how it's affecting our, our culture and what happens in day to days, my thoughts also go to the, our, our, I call them our cousins on the on the east coast. Uh, obviously, they're going through a fair bit of trauma, particularly New South Wales. Uh, obviously, with COVID extending its tentacles throughout that state, hopefully we see a resolution in the coming months. Once again, we're very fortunate in West Australia. But to our cousins from all of us, uh, wish you all the best and hope things will improve uh, for you. Obviously, there's lots of controversy about the jab. I've just had mine. I'm a believer that people should have it. But again, that's a personal choice. But hopefully, in the net between now and Christmas, we see the West, uh, the Australian, um, this Australia come to terms with COVID and the world comes to terms with COVID. Because I certainly, like probably most, I'm going to see this rolling into 2022. Anyway, from a real estate point of view, things are still going on nicely. Uh, talking to their Hills office is all doing very well. Our commercial division is, is flying at the moment. Mike tells me he's extremely busy and well done to him and his team. Um, our settlement agencies plus your settlements, we've seen some record numbers come through there. And plus loans again, inquiry rate is up. Anyway, if you want to know more about real estate, check out realestateplus.com.au. Have a good weekend.